Time now for Ask the Expert. We're talking about cats today and kidney disease. Dr. Katie Heinrich from the Silver Spring Animal Wellness Center joining us live this afternoon with her clinic cat. Yep. This is Mama. This is Mama. She's 20 years old. That's so an old cat. She's a bit of a shudder. So cats and kidney disease, are, is there, there signs that you should look for? Yes. Or? So she actually has kidney disease. Um, it's very, very, very common in older cats. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, what happens in cats uh, is that, um, so the kidneys, I should back up, the kidneys do two main jobs in the body. One is to filter out toxins and the other is to conserve water. Um, and when the kidney, in cats, when the kidney starts to, starts to decline and not function as well, the first thing people generally notice is that their cats are drinking a lot of water and cleaning up a lot of urine out of the litter box. Mm. And so because the kidney is not able to conserve that water for the body, even though they're drinking a lot, they urinate it right out. So that's the first thing people generally see. And that sign actually you don't see till two thirds of the kidney function is already lost. So, so you start to see those symptoms. How do you treat that? once you know something is wrong. So you want to, if you do notice a sign like that, that can mean a lot of different things that happen, you know, increased water intake happens in diabetic cats, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to take your cat to your vet, get, so, get a basic blood panel done because uh, this type of disease will show up very nicely on blood work. And this is one reason that we want to, in a seemingly normal animal, check blood work periodically once a year, twice a year in older animals because we will pick up kidney disease long before they show any clinical signs. And if you catch very early it's something that you can manage for quite a long time and cats can live for it for years and years sometimes. so th there's really no side effects once it's managed they uh, do okay they tend to do okay I mean over time it, it's always progressive no matter what but our goal is to slow down the progression so I, as I said the first thing people generally see are increased thirst and increased urination over time um, you know, as it progresses, they will start to lose their appetite a little bit, lose some weight. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you'll see vomiting, um, sometimes constipation. You want to get it before that, though, right? You want to get it before that. Um, generally, we like to manage this disease with um, feeding canned food because the more water they that take moisture, in. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's really good for their kidneys. It helps keep them hydrated to the best of our abilities. Um, as it progresses, we can teach owners how to give fluids under their skin at home, which is actually generally very well tolerated and a nice substitution for being hospitalized with IV fluids to keep them hydrated because uh, no cat really wants to do right, that long term. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have lots of things we can do. The mainstay is generally fluid therapy and getting them to take as much, as much water as they can. Mama's right. talking to us. Mama's she ready did. to go back to the office. Got lots to say. <laughs> Dr. Katie, thanks. Have a question for any of our experts? Send an email to askthexpert at todaystmj4.com. You may also leave a voicemail. That number is on your screen. We'll be back.